welcome to The One Show with Adrian Childs. And Christine Blakely, and tonight we have... Bats, buried treasure and the Beano. What more could you want? Before children's television was even a glimmer in the imagination, comics were the staple diet of children's entertainment. The B10, a new comic for TV viewers of all ages. For me, they were the highlight of the whole week. They were so eagerly anticipated, I know of one family where all five children would read each page at the same time. <laughs> 70 years ago today, the very first Beano rolled off the press. At the height of its popularity in the 1950s, it sold two million a week, alongside Topper, Eagle and Beezer. Together with the Dandy, it's outlasted all the others. Those sales are now less than a twentieth of what they were in their heyday. With the rise of television, computer games and the internet, there's no denying that comics have fallen by the wayside. But 70 years on, the Beano and the Dandy are still going strong. Kev Sutherland creates stories for the Beano. He also holds comic masterclasses, like this one at Great Bedouin Primary School, to open children's eyes to the endless possibilities of his favourite art form. Kev, you are a contemporary Beano artist. I think so, yes. It's an extraordinary thing to be doing. Why do you do it? Why? Who has more fun than the guy who wakes up, gets to make up stupid stories and then gets paid to draw them? So it's a story about a rabbit? Yeah, so a rabbit who eats a human. A, a, a human eating rabbit? No, a rabbit eating a human. Yeah, horrendous deaths are at the core of this creative endeavour. And what... What do you think it sort of links into in a child? When they can get the most extraordinary technology, why would they turn to a few drawings, black and white lines? The beauty of the comic strip is both that you can read it yourself, silently be drawn into that world, and you can then create that world yourself. It's like making a film, but you don't have to pay Johnny Depp. You can have any special effect, and all you have to do is imagine it. So yours is a story about a goldfish that eats a cat called Snowy. <laughs> <laughs> what hope is there? <laughs> and how will the story end? Well, I haven't thought that out yet. How old are you? I'm eight. Oh, you've got time. When I got up this morning, I thought that the comic was on its last legs. <clears throat> now I've discovered there's life in the old comic yet. Wow! Destination Venus! <laughs>